Okay, this time we're gonna do another ornament. We're gonna play with the glitter still, but this time it's gonna be more subtle. So we're gonna still do some interference colors, but we're also gonna do some iridescent type glitters. So this is definitely playing with light. Let's see how this turns out. I'm curious myself. Hang on. Howdy, howdy, y'all. This is Clara Lawrence, and we're working on an egg and decorating it with uh, primary elements, pigment powders, and some addition of some glitter. So I've got very subtle colors today, so I'm gonna use some, some really nice iridescent glitter. And this is shaved ice, which is really pretty, but also some really super fine glitter. So a lot of playing with light today. But I'm also gonna mess around with um, some more of the primary elements interference colors. And this, I've got some gold, bling it gold, um, some green pearl color. So I don't know if you can see it in the thing. We're just a hint of green in that. Uh, but I'm gonna bring in some blue sparkle. That's also an interference color. And then maybe, I haven't decided yet, this is one of her primary elements uh, colors, but this is sunburst. So I'll put a picture at the end of this uh, for the colors I do end up using. So if you're interested in any of these colors, check in towards the end of the video and you'll see that photo. So I've got a coat of polyacrylic inside the egg and I'm just making sure I get the last little bits out because uh, I don't want a big old puddle in here. And I always use a cup to drain the little bits into and I can also pour the bits into the next egg too so I can use as much as I can without it going to waste okay so the tricky part of this whole thing is getting that into that <laughs> so I made a big old hodgepodge of a mess before I'll probably do it again I'm just kind of that kind of person. All right, let me see. Should I bring it in closer? Yes, I think so. So I'm just going to sprinkle some of this uh, shaved ice in here and then give it a shake. Some of it's going to go on the outside. It's just so fine. I can't even put this stuff into a cup to pour it in because it will not flow. I was kind of doing a test before. This is going to be tricky. And if this takes super long, I will just keep on going and just kind of speed this process up. So bear with me for a little bit. I tried to do a funnel before and that didn't work. But of course, if I had the right size funnel, that probably would help a lot more. And the plastic was just a little bit too wimpy. Let's see, I'll start moving this stuff around that is in there. And it's gonna start depositing little bits. And I have a feeling that they were going to go transparent on the sides. So that's exciting. Okay, I'm going to keep going with this. And oh, I wonder if I could use this. Let me give it a try. Wouldn't hurt to try, right? All right. We'll just scoop a bunch in there. All right, I'm going to keep on moving and... Uh, Get this sucker in here. I'm probably going to put quite a bit all the way around. And then what the process that I'm thinking of is just a matter of filling in the gaps. I don't know if I got any in that one. So going with the bigger size now, and then I'll go with a finer size and fine, even finer still, and then start layering in the colors and the iridescence and stuff. Or, I'm sorry, interference colors. Well, this is working out much better. It's 
still making a little bit of a mess, but it is being productive. So I'm happy. Well, hello there, Zoe. Hello, hubby. Hi, Zoe. You gotta give me kisses. Oh my gosh. That is her tail. <laughs> Hi, sweetie. She's not bothering me. Trying to get this little spot here. All right, this has got nice potential to it. I'm almost thinking the next step is I'm going to throw some interference in there because I definitely don't want to plug in all the holes without using the interference. Because for one thing, it'll add some subtle color. And two, I definitely want that light play. Almost got it coating around the sides. Getting there. All right, I'm gonna start tapping it around. Getting loose particles to adhere to the polycrylic. Look at that. I don't know if you can see the shimmer on that, but that's kind of fun. All right, I'm gonna see if I can drop it to the bottom, which is very hard. A couple naked spots right in the top. No, I still when I'm concentrating when I stop talking. Sorry. <laughs> so what kind of person are you for Christmas? Do you like you like your traditional silver and gold? You like reds? Do you like to change it up? What do you like? Or just all the colors? Which there's nothing wrong with that. Alright, let's see now. Alright, so we're gonna do. I'm going to do some of the interference colors I was telling you about. So let's get some blue and I got blue sparkle but I got green pearl because I want a little bit difference in textures and stuff. When you get things that are all the same texture, things have a tendency to get a little bit more monotone. So even if you're playing with the same like all whites, change up your texture a bit and it'll be a lot more interesting. All right, that's probably plenty of that. So I'm just tapping it, but I'm rotating it a lot to get it all over. A little bit on the top. All right, that was that one. I'll do this. The pearl has a tendency to really coat 
whereas the, the sparkle will go in little bits, little dot bits. So that's why I'm starting with the sparkle first. And this is gold. And the cool thing about the interference colors is they don't mix. So if I'm like putting um, reds and blues together, I'm not gonna get a purple. So that's really neat. If you want a little bit of gold, you're gonna get a little bit of gold. All right. You see my hands? I don't know if you can see that little bit. Yep, there it goes. All right, now just rotate it around just ever so slightly. seems to be a little bit on the naked side. Let's do something about that. All right, so this is the green pearl, and I'm gonna intentionally drop it towards the bottom. And then I'm also gonna put some towards the top. So that way, if I have a big chunk, I want it to be deliberate and have a big chunk somewhere else as well. I've been finding it easy if you hold the nozzle over the opening, whatever falls out, at least it tries to go back into the, the cup again. Tries. Doesn't always succeed, but at least you don't lose as much product. Okay. Let's see, where's that bit? I've got a little bit right here. I need to do something with. I'm trying to get it so it's on the bottom and I can literally dump it on top. All right. Now look at my hand. Ooh. Look like some Something coming out of the ocean like fantasy land. All right, rest that there for a sec. And this is, what is this color again? I forgot. Sunburst. So I'm gonna sprinkle a little bit in there and see what happens. Now remember these colors will develop um, over the next like 24 hours. And what I mean by develop is they'll start working through the layers and bond with the polyacrylic. And become, uh, they will start blending together. So it's gonna be interesting to see what this gold does. It's kicking in and working in with the holes and stuff and finding its way through. But eventually in some of these areas that may be like very white might bring on a slightly yellow appearance. So I'm gonna drop a little bit of this gold towards the top and I think I'm gonna shift golds. So I told you, sometimes I change my mind while in the process. I'll let the piece talk to me. I want a more subtle gold. So I'm gonna get some of these brighter golds, yellows that are come up here. But let's put this to the side for now. Let's see. 
This is a very shimmery color and it's a, uh, what is it? Sun shimmer, well, shimmer gold. thinking about doing a video where I take all these eggs outside and take a video of them so that you can see them in the uh, sunlight because these um, pearls and luminosity to these colors are really spectacular in the light and it's hard to show with a camera inside. Okay, so this is kind of what we got going on here. Hopefully you guys can see that. We get some little bits of bright colors in there and that's okay. A lot of texture going on. This ought to be really interesting. I do not know what this is going to look like tomorrow. So this is definitely a big mystery. All right. Until then. Later. Okay. This is the next day on this one. A lot of iridescence still shows through. The gold really shows through. So I didn't use a whole lot of it. So that adding a subtle color and stuff like that, keep that in mind. If you want something very soft, you have to be very sparingly with the, uh, the dominant color that you put in after the glitter and stuff. So I kind of like this a lot. This is pretty. This is going to have a lot of bling to it with the lights a lot of things to reflect off of so very cool all right hit that like button hit the subscribe button but definitely hit the bell to get notified the next time I put a video up. hey y'all